Hello to our favorite small group at River Valley Christian Fellowship. This is Will and Audrey in Santiago, Dominican Republic. We are your uh, humbly adopted missionaries, and uh, we thought we would just show you guys a little bit uh, more of what this place looks like. Uh, I'm standing on top of our school in Santiago, Dominican Republic, and uh, wanted to give you guys an idea just of what the neighborhood uh, looks like, so you guys can get a little bit of a layout of the land. Um, I hope that you guys can see what I'm trying to show you. Uh, but we are in the Cibao Valley uh, in Santiago, and we are surrounded by mountains. And this is the neighborhood where our ministry began over 20 years ago. So this has been our focus for a long time. Uh, but over the last 15 years or so, uh, we've expanded out through the entire island and on into Haiti. And uh, so anyway, this is just the beginning of what we wanted to show you guys. Thanks for taking some time to, to check it out. And I'm going to get down from this building and uh, show you a little bit more of our ministry and our dorm and school and where we work on a daily basis. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. We are now looking at the school. Uh, over 20 years ago, a man named Ramon Gabriel moved to the city of Santiago uh, with hopes of starting a school and planning a church. And uh, when that happened, he came in this neighborhood called Oya del Caimito. And he started a school. In that first class, there were about 30 kids uh, in, the, in the graduating class. Well, actually, I think in the whole school. And uh, now we're going to walk into the school. Uh, here we are 20-something years later, and there are about 450 kids that are receiving a private Christian education every single day. And uh, we actually have a, a partnership uh, program through our Go Kids ministry where people in the state sponsor kids to get an education, get a birthday present, Christmas present. And uh, this is what the school looks like. I know it's kind of a tough angle, but I'm standing in the, in the recess area. Um, but the school is three levels and recently we just put in a computer lab and a library, something that schools around here don't often have. But thanks to uh, wonderful supporters that we have all over the United States, they've been able to make it happen. So this is what our school looks like. As Audrey mentioned in the letter to you guys, we host about 50 groups a year. Uh, they come down and do medical missions, construction, sports ministry, pastor training, uh, VBS for kids in all of our different churches. Um, and this is the dorm that they stay in. This was built by groups that came down to be part of short-term missions. And uh, now I'd say about 70% of our groups stay here. This is our main hub in Santiago. And it sleeps about 60 people. And that third floor is where people eat. Um, as you guys will see, these kids in the street right here, they're playing a game called Bitilla. And uh, this is a game that every Dominican kid grew up playing. It's with a bottle cap and a broomstick. And if you're wondering about why they're so good at baseball, this is why. Um, just around the corner, there's Audrey ducking out of the way. <laughs> uh, this is the apartment that we lived in for the first three and a half years we spent here. We've been here for about five. Um, so we spent our first three and a half years of marriage and ministry in this apartment. And uh, it was right in the middle of everything. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, but we moved about a half a mile away uh, about a year and a half ago. So this is the old apartment. Closer look at Vitilla. Strike one. Oh, foul ball. Where is it? Spain. See if he can do any better. There we go. There we go. This is the central church of Go Ministries. Uh, in the morning we have Haitian services, and in the evening on Sundays we have Dominican services. The only reason for the separation of the two is because of the language uh, barrier. The Haitians speak Creole and the Dominicans speak Spanish. Um, but a lot of Haitians speak Spanish as well, so they come to the, to the night service. Um, this is Pastor Wilby Romain, our Haitian pastor, who is entering into the building. Uh, but this is uh, soon going to be converted into a medical clinic um, where it's going to be open uh, seven days a week to, for people to have operations and for sick people to come um, get medicine and, and treatment. So uh, right now also people that come down on mission trips stay in this house. Uh, we've converted into a dorm that holds about 30 people. So uh, this is what the central church looks like now and we're going to move on over to the new central church that we, that's in the middle of construction. Our main focus in ministry is sports ministry and uh, this is the basketball court in the neighborhood and this is where it all began uh, for me, for Will. In 1998 I came down on a mission trip and fell in love with this place, did a basketball camp for 10 days and this is where uh, we did the camp. 
This is brand new, uh, just redone by the government. We had elections on May 16th, and one of the politicians from this neighborhood came in and redid our court uh, to get a vote. Unfortunately, he did not win, but thankfully we got a new court out of it, so we are grateful for him. Uh, so the, starting this summer, uh, we're gonna have our fifth annual uh, basketball league that will last six weeks, and we'll have about 120 kids that participate in that. And um, yeah, this is the basketball court in Oye del Camito where we spend lots of time. We have a full-time baseball ministry that uh, takes place every single day. There's about 80 kids that participate. A guy named Jose Luis uh, spends time doing Bible studies and uh, instructs them in the game of baseball. And this is the field uh, that they use every single day. Right now there's a softball game going on. This is actually our church team over there in the red. They're called the Young Christians. So cheer them on. So this is the new central church for Go Ministries. Uh, this place is going to be a, a huge blessing for our ministry. Uh, there's about 35 different churches that we have across the island, and this is a place where pastors will be able to gather and uh, worship together and keep each other accountable and, and learn and do pastor training and things like that. Uh, the bottom level are classrooms. Uh, the back side is a dorm uh, for when groups come down. Uh, there's also kitchen area for eating and fellowship and gatherings. And upstairs will be the sanctuary. Uh, but we are super grateful for this. For this church uh, you can see uh, and obviously a big difference between the church that we're worshiping in now and uh, the size of this one and that's a good thing because the other one's busting at the seams and this is in the middle of three neighborhoods so three neighborhoods are going to be able to join together in this place so uh, here in a few weeks we're going to open this place up and uh, celebrate and start worshiping together so we're pretty excited it's so the last thing i'm going to show you guys for today and uh, hopefully you got a better idea of what things look like around here and where we spend most of our time and again we look forward to uh, the partnership with you guys and We'll be praying for you, and uh, we definitely thank you for your prayers for us. Uh, we'll talk to you on Skype. See ya.